When we were first thinking of adopting a greyhound, we were a little unsure of what to feed them. So I've made a little video of the diet of our dog, Magnus. So for Magnus's breakfast, uh, he gets chicken, usually three pieces of chicken, usually a bit of thigh and two legs. Uh, these are frozen. You can also serve it raw as well. Uh, we serve it frozen just because it's easy in the mornings and we serve it to Magnus in his bowl, in his crate, a la breakfast in bed. Another item we give Magnus is the Kong. Uh, this is a piece of rubber, you can see here, which they can gnaw at to get the food that's inside. Uh, these can be purchased at pet stores, but also on sites like Amazon. Uh, we fill ours with peanut butter. This one's no added sugar. This is a Sun Pat, I guess any brand will do, but this one's quite good because you can see here, it's suitable for uh, vegetarians and vegans. It's pretty much just uh, peanut butter and a bit of oil and a bit of sea salt. So quite minimal ingredients. So that's what we do. Put it inside the Kong. And then, as I say earlier, on TV, stick it in the freezer. Get the drawer here. It goes hard and that way it'll last a little bit longer. It takes a bit more work for Magnus to get it out, a bit more exercise, a bit more entertainment. But we have usually two in the go at any point in time. We'll have them in the fridge and we'll give them to Magnus when he wants an occasional treat. Alright, so we've got a bit of marrow here for Magnus as a little treat from the butcher. Cost one pound, is that right? So we'll see how he likes it. Seems to be a bit excited about it, so let's see how it goes. So he's chowing down on his marrow. It's the first one he's ever had. See how much he enjoys it, and if there's anything left in ten minutes. So for the main course for Magnus's dinner, we serve him this product here. It's called Natural Instinct Working Dog. Uh, tonight's flavor is turkey, but also comes in chicken as well. As you can see there, it's basically turkey with bone. Also has some vegetables like carrots in there as well. Comes in a one kilogram pack and on the back, it's got some lovely information as far as the size of the dog and how much food they should get. So Magnus gets about half of this container at every day. To that, we also supplement it with a little bit of oil and we also add things like sardines and tomato sauce or want to mix it up a little bit, we'll do sardines in sunflower oil but never in brine. Uh, with this, we also add things like uh, shredded carrot, uh, broccoli, uh, we'll do cabbage as well. Uh, we had also the leaves of cauliflower, uh, kale. Uh, we'll get the stuff, mix it all together in his bowl and looks something a little bit like this. 
Because of the risk of things like bloat and greyhounds, we serve Magnus's dinner in a raised dog feeding station like so. Keeps it off the ground and prevents him from getting bloat. And there's no mess in here. And there you have it. Good as new. Was that good, Magnus? Did you enjoy that? One of the other things that's important is the dental care of our dog. So he does have the bones to chew on, but in addition to this, we also use liver flavored toothpaste to help clean his teeth and some dental sticks. So that's the diet of our dog, Magnus. Hope this video helped and thanks for watching. Thank you.